I believe in miracles. Please call now. 1-866-970-U. It is the 18th annual Missouri Credit Union Miracles for Kids Radiothon. And, you know, we've got this construction theme. So we've got that. You see in a lot of the photos, these bright orange vests and the yellow construction hats. Of course, they're not. It's funny that there's a sticker on there like, not actual hard hat. Well, no kidding. Yeah, not used for protection. It's as fragile as a red (laughs) solo cup here right now. Um, But a guy who's got an even brighter shirt on those security things or those safety things, Mr. Hudson here, has a bright old, like, neon orange shirt or something. Kristen, did you put him in that just to make sure you can see where he's going? going because he's all over the place isn't he yes he's wild <laughs> <laughs> well hudson hudson from ashland was last year's uh children's miracle network um kind of miracle, chi- miracle child <laughs> yeah. for the state that was a whirlwind for you guys a little bit huh how was yeah. that yeah he loved every part of that i bet photo shoots and on all kinds of signs and I, I know people have heard stories of they you know like they, they tell different families hey we saw you on mm-hmm. this container at, at a mm-hmm. wendy's or at the ace hardware and all the different collections what was one of your guys as, as mom and dad one of your favorite stories of that whole portion of his journey yeah we got lots of messages from friends who would be at sam's club or walmart and uh they said that like their kids were just so eager to tell the cashier like we know him <laughs> we know him he's from our town he's famous. <laughs> exactly that's awesome trying to get uh, autographs and pictures with, with hudson he is five years old and you guys are from from ashland tell a little bit for those that, that don't know his story tell us a little bit about why you guys have such a special connection to this hospital Well, Hudson's journey with this hospital started in 2019. He was born here, and we knew before delivery that um, we would be facing quite a few medical challenges. We, of course, couldn't tell the full extent of that in utero, but he was delivered at 36 weeks and three days, and he needed surgery right away and needed a ventilator right away Mm. his airway and his esophagus were connected and they shouldn't be so he had to have those two things separated but um, then it just got to be where his lungs just didn't have the capacity to support themselves for quite a while so he was in the NICU for 55 days and at that eight week mark we finally were able to go home um, his official diagnosis is called Vactral Association, and there really is no known cause for that. It's not a genetic condition. It's mm-hmm. just a fluke development thing that happens during um, the growth of the embryo. So um, Hudson has, so Vactral Association has seven letters, and he is affected by six of the seven mm-hmm. You have to have at least three of the seven to qualify for that diagnosis. And um, what are the what effects does he have? Vertebrae is the V, so he has scoliosis. C is cardiac. He has um, a bicuspid aortic valve, which they think we won't have to operate on for many years. Hopefully, into his adulthood. Oh, good. Um, T and E are tracheoesophageal fistula and esophageal atresia. Big words that basically mean (laughs) his esophagus was attached to his trachea Mm. and um, his his trachea... <laughs> There's so much yeah. celebration going on. I yeah. have a hard time finding no. my words. No, it's a, and that is it, it's a just, good thing. If that somebody's is a listening great thing. for the first time, there are four radio stations total in this ginormous room, and then a bank of volunteers answering phones. Bells going off when we get miracle makers. So a lot of times we just want to give some people. They're like, "Man, you're talking serious stuff." Like his esophagus <laughs> was attached to his spine. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, no, right, we're not right. clapping. Yeah. <laughs> we're, not, we're clapping for the fact that Hudson is a miracle here with yes. us. And so Sometimes with four, it's just a little bit chaotic, and so it's hard for us to concentrate sometimes. I'm sure that that was difficult, but so now, obviously, part of that vector was, I'm assuming, with his with his arms and hands, mm-hmm. yep. uh, with part of that, the, the deformities a little bit. That's it, the L. Yeah, the yep. L limb, for limb. Limb anomalies. Um, but he's sitting there eating candy like a champ. Oh, yeah. yeah, he knows how to oh, get yeah. those M&Ms. He's, he's all good. He can work his zipper and close his Ziploc bag now. He's... yeah. 
he's doing he does everything in his own way but you're right um he has he does not have radius bones in either forearm and he has two fingers on his right hand and technically four on the left hand um two of them are fused together so they kind of function as a big finger but um I feel like we maybe skipped a letter. Oh, the R is renal, mm-hmm. but his kidneys have all that he's been cleared from a kidney. Oh, thank God. Now. There's so, a miracle right there. That's see? awesome. Yeah, so I wrote down a few stats because I always kind of fumble over this in the moment. Um, he does actually still see eight specialists here within this health system alone and also gets PT and OT and feeding therapy. He does still have a G-tube, so um, we are followed closely for his nutrition and his weight and Mm -hmm. um, always working on swallowing and trying to eat as much as possible. But uh, his hospital admissions, I counted eight, um, and this is after his NICU discharge, of course, and that totaling 28 nights in the hospital and then this last year he had his 10th surgery in september he was jumping on his sister's bed and broke his femur oh something that we were not anticipating (laughs) him being a boy yes (laughs) yes so not part of his medical diagnosis in any way but just like any Mm five-year-old um And that honestly rocked our world more so than any other part of his health journey. He spent almost eight weeks in a spica cast from his hips all the way to his toes. So um, that was a huge obstacle for us and, and for him emotionally. That was a lot to go from being wild and active to completely sedentary and dependent on ev- upon everyone for yeah. everything. Yeah. And we had the ambulance at our house and he took a trip to the ER. Oh and How cool was that? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'll do that again. Yeah. He's looking Once down. is enough, yeah. right? That's, a, that's the classic sheepish, devilish boy grin. Mm-hmm. Like, oh boy, we're not supposed to talk about the ambulance, cat. Yeah. No. Mom and dad but, are still but paying again, the bill we, for it. We, we talk about it all the time, uh, Jeff and Kristen, with other parents that say, you just never know. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, 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 you obviously the first time with that and then having that kind of an accident and you're right back here, mm-hmm. you're like, well, at least you know where you were going, that the care you were going to get would be unbelievable. Right. Um, despite what it meant and, and as scary as that was for sure mm-hmm. we didn't have the extra added stress of oh my gosh now we have to drive two hours in an ambulance yeah. to st right. louis or kansas yeah. city it it was right here we are well established with the orthopedic team here and um he had excellent care in the er i know it's a crazy busy place but yeah. they did everything they could to try to keep his pain under control and he had surgery the next day and we just started that road to yeah. recovery and and they now. just bounced back from that pretty well mm-hmm. so I shouldn't say bounce back that means jumping on the bed no, I'm not going to say bounce <laughs> he, is, yes. he, is, he has recovered well from that seems mm-hmm. like and doing doing good oh yeah riding, full speed ahead riding on all tricycles around right. the neighborhood and remote control cars and all kinds of what when you when you look at your t- oh, oh my man. When you look at your tough little guy here, and what what are your guys' hopes and dreams for Hudson for the future? And well, we tell beyond? him all the time that he can do anything he wants to do. Oh yeah, not just down the road career wise, but through every little obstacle that he has to learn how to do his own way, using scissors at school, mm-hmm. learning how to maneuver glue in the classroom, or mm-hmm. um, you know, coloring, or just. Everything that comes so naturally to young kids, he has to work a little harder for and come up with his own adaptations for. Mm -hmm. And we push him to do that on his own, in his own way, so that he can figure that out. And we hope that that transpires then to the same aspects later whenever he oh, says he it, wants to, to drive diggers when he's older okay. but oh hey. yeah well let me tell you something hudson my youngest son he's 19 now so he's a big guy but he had challenges like you and had to, he just had to do things a little bit different and learned differently and he has overcome just like you everything that has ever 
faced him. Mm-hmm. That was hard, and he did it. And he's 19, so if he can do it, you can do it too, right? Yeah, buddy. All right. What's your favorite? What's your favorite thing to do? Play outside. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I weather. bet you've enjoyed the weather lately, haven't you? What's your favorite dessert? Ooh. Cupcakes. Okay. Oh, well, you, you, ooh. Know, you know we have some. We got there. some in the right behind this, the don't wall tell, right here. Don't tell anybody else. We're gonna give Hudson's. If it's cool with you guys, we'll steal him a couple cupcakes. Okay? Are you good ooh. with that? Ooh, you want some? They're nothing bunt cakes. <laughs> they brought us some free gifts to eat this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, thank you so much for for coming in and sharing your story and. I'm sure there's probably a fortress around all the beds now that there's no more trampoline. <laughs> Definitely no trampoline. <laughs> yeah. Well, I the bed turning into that, you know. But uh, this hospital is obviously a, a very special place for you guys. And, and to know we have such an amazing place right here in mid-Missouri, like you said, where you're not having to go two hours to Kansas City or St. Louis or, or even further. Uh, so much love and care here in our own backyard. Miracle Maker time. We need the phones to ring. we got a lot to get to. 25 more in about 35 minutes. If we can hit this goal, we're down to our final two and a half hours of our radio fine. Let's make the phones ring, the bells ring. Can you ring. tell them? Say, make the phones ring. Hey, look at that. Ring. Yeah. Make the phones ring. Keep the bell ringing. <laughs> Missouri Bank Care Bell is ringing, and we're getting Miracle Makers live on Y107.